Welcome to the Allentown Presbyterian Church. You can see Maureen's been diligently keeping up with the story signboards as we're progressing. Uh, it's definitely a, a new normal. Um, I'm misgathering with my church family here, but um, as I turn to scripture, I do find confidence and reassurance. Um, I am a creature of habit. This is my sixth row on the right center side. I can see the uh, dogwood trees out in the cemetery when they're in flower. The sun comes in that second window. Brother Al Check is usually two pews in front of me. Bob and Audrey Rhodes are right here. Uh, Van Pape and his wife Janet are sitting to my left. Jack Titmus a couple seats behind me. There's a certain comfort, a certain reassurance in, in being with your, your family, be it your physical family or your church family. But um, things change. And um, for some of us, it's unsettling, but for others, uh, it's a time of opportunity. Um, I know Stephen and Enoch and the church staff have embraced this uh, new form of worship as a, a matter of necessity, first and foremost, but secondly, um, as a way to reach people that maybe don't grace the doors of the church as often as we do. Um, so in God's wisdom, um, he's going to find something good in this. Um, I'm remind, reminded as I was uh, looking for passages to kind of fit my contemplative mood uh, in, the 40, in the 43rd chapter of Isaiah, verse 18 and 19, Isaiah tells us, forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing the new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? Because I provide water in the desert and streams in the wasteland. So Isaiah is telling us that um, even though things are changing, God is taking this change and, and doing new things in it. And when God does things, we know that they're good. Um, so my challenge to myself and to all of us is to embrace the newness of what's going on around, uh, be receptive and open to new ideas. Um, I don't know when we'll be able to get back and physically hug and embrace one another in this, in this hallowed hall. Um, my roots go deep here, but it doesn't mean that uh, things can't change. Things have changed and things will change. So um, as Isaiah said, let's take this opportunity to embrace the newness that God's going to show to us. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for the comfort of our home, our old home. Uh, we thank you for um, the people like Enoch and Stephen boldly stepping forward and, and trying to envision a new way to bring people into your family. Uh, we thank you for those that have come before us, those that are guiding us now, and those that will be with us in the future. Most of all, we just thank you for your son, in whose name we pray. Amen. <laughs> 